Hey all, so I am back in my mother's house and I am in bed right now. Actually, I'm just sitting in bed. But anyway, I just had my first road rage incident in South Africa. And it was actually very, actually very scary. Everything went so well. Everything went so well. And I had the most wonderful time with my in-laws and we drove safely with my, you know, my aunt-in-law and I dropped it. I was about to drop her off. So those who know Butterworth, South Africa, I was coming from this town called Namakwe and I was in an intersection uh, crossing over so that I can face the her village right and i won't use the exact names of their villages for to protect their identity but anyway so i was facing their village and i had just crossed and then as uh, after i was already facing the right direction meaning i was i had a right of way at this point a jeep comes next to me and these people like it, it starts driving on the yellow lines you know the ridge basically that says you cannot be in the in this lane right um and they start waving me down and i thought maybe it's people that i know and i'm looking and i'm like what's going on and then this guy pulls right in front of me to block my way and i stopped uh, because I was thinking to myself, okay, what's going on? I was confused because before I actually crossed, I had looked both ways. There was no car. And then this guy stops right in front of me and he comes out charging from his car and his wife following. Uh, she's on a cell phone and they're driving a Jeep, which is obviously an American car. And, and then he comes to me and he says, you're going to cause an accident. You you know like i'm like i'm confused i just said i'm sorry i'm just not used to driving here and i said this in closer because he was speaking in closer and um he said even if you're not used to it you're going to cause an accident and i'm thinking to myself first of all i looked both ways and i crossed the road and i was already on this road that i was on so why is it my fault that you failed to slow down at an intersection when you i mean every fool every fool knows that um that when you get to an intersection you have to slow down he did not slow down as a result he probably you know like felt he was going to hit me but if he had hit me he would have been in a wrong because he would have cut uh, he would have hit me from behind right and so right there and there i would have won the case and he comes shouting at me really like scolding me in uh, really threatening me and him and his wife who obviously knows nothing about how the road works and i was just thinking to myself this is crazy this is absolutely crazy and i just cannot believe that these people would do this so i just said i apologize because i knew if i had said anything else it would have escalated and he could have shot me because a lot of people here carry guns and so i was like you know let me de-escalate this situation and i said i'm sorry you know like and then they went back to their car and then they started speeding this made me think that that's probably one of the things that i had a problem with as i've been driving in south africa people don't follow road rules people are very aggressive when they drive i've had so many like near accidents not because i was in the wrong but because i mean when taxi drivers uh when they are driving and stopping for people when they get back on the road they just jump in no signal nothing and i was just like you know like so angry because i'm thinking to myself this guy all he has is threats he doesn't have the law behind him because if he had slowed down, he would have seen that I was already there. 
and there was no need for him to then say when he's already behind me to come and block my way and basically uh, take over and then block my way. He was only doing it because he probably was carrying a gun and he, he thought he was going to do something. But he met a church lady. I'm not a fool. I'm not a fool. I know people like that. They are aggressive by nature. And most of the time, probably there's a reason why they are already angry. So if you were the guy who was driving a Jeep, um in near butterworth in the uh um intersection between uh Ngamako and butterworth know this you were in the wrong and you should have been the one apologizing because you don't own the road everybody who's a motorist including pedestrians by the way they own the road it's not your road to just drive as fast without any interruption I was already on, uh, I already had a right of way at that point and you weren't supposed to then overtake me and block my way just because you could. That's not how civilized people do things. To me, it just showed how you probably bought your license. I don't know, but I was in the right. I had looked both sides and I was able to cross and I was already on the right of way and you were mad at the fact that I was able to do that. Because if, if, if I had hit you, in other words, if you were already in the intersection and I hit you on the side, then I would have been in the wrong. But if you had hit me on, in the back, which is what was going to happen, you would have been in the wrong. So, but anyway, uh, I just wanted to tell that story because I was just so like shaken um after everything had gone so well and this guy at the last minute and this was the last thing that i had to do while i was here and i was getting ready to you know like to go back to america and he was basically trying to threaten me but anyway i'm here i'm safe and i'm grateful it was raining like crazy today by the way uh not at the time this was happening but anyway i wanted to tell that story I'm losing the focus now. <laughs> okay, bye. Thanks.